God Almighty have sent me this morning to remind you that impossibility does not exist. Impossibility does not exist in human calendar and in human life. There is nothing that a man thinks he wants to do or desires to do that he does not have the capability to do. God wants me to remind you that that thing in your life that looks impossible is a lie. All things are possible. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the God of the universe, your father, my father, sent me again to you this morning with a word to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, to bless you, so that you can be empowered to rule over your enemies and rule in the midst of your enemies. I'm praying this morning that God will give you the grace to stretch and to extend. God will give you the grace to prosper. God will help you to understand the power within you. God will help you to know that nothing is impossible. Things may be hard, but they are not impossible. May you receive grace and power to do the impossible in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Today, I want you to look at the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 again. It says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And when you look at Luke chapter 1, verse 37, where the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. And the Bible also says that with God, nothing shall be impossible. You see, because God is living in the midst of men, and because God is in our heart, God dwells in us, that means that there is nothing that is, that is impossible with us. And that is why Mark chapter 9 says, I think verse 23, it says that all things are possible to him that believes. You see, all things are possible to him that believe. This tells you and I that impossibility does not exist. Now, if anything is said to be impossible, it is because they don't know how to do it yet. There is nothing that is impossible. There is nothing that is impossible in, in, in our world. We are living in a world of possibilities. You see, when you look around you and you see things that men are doing, men that people can even not recognize, they are doing great things, you can do it. You can do all things. You can rise up from this quagmire. You can rise up from this low level. You can turn this time around and make a good life of yourself. You may have been born to a poor family, but you can rise from that poverty and turn the whole family to a wealthy family. You know, in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4, he said, He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand. And that tells us no one is poor. People become poor. You see, if Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4 says, He becometh poor, that means that he was not poor. You know, to become is to turn to something that was not. You see, most of the food that we eat was processed to become it. You see? You see? So, when somebody become poor, that means that he was not poor. He may be born to a poor environment, but that guy is not poor. The man or the boy or the girl that is born to a poor family is not, is not poor yet. But he himself can become poor later. Your parents may be rich. It doesn't mean that you are rich. You are not rich yet. Proverbs chapter 4, verse, chapter 10, verse 4. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand. But the hand of the diligent maketh rich. You see, that means that riches are made. Riches are created. Riches are commanded to be. Riches are produced. Riches are manufactured. You see, this is what it means. You can make riches no matter your background. You can make wealth no matter the family you came from. 
Nothing is impossible. Yes, my father didn't send me to school. There are so many illiterates who are multimillionaires. No, I have one handicap or the other. There are so many handicapped people that are stickingly rich. No, I'm coming from a very poor, a very poor country. There are great, one of the greatest men on earth come from the poorest of the families and of the countries. You see, no, I don't know if I can make it. There is scarcity on planet Earth. There is no scarcity on planet Earth. Planet Earth is rich with abundant resources of whatever we may ever need. We can never exhaust the abundance on planet Earth. Stop thinking that it is impossible. Impossibility does not exist. See God's mandate for man when God created man. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 from verse 26. In verse 28, God declared, let them have dominion. In fact, he said to man, he said, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion. Fivefold blessing that God gave to you. There's no excuse. You can do it. You can make it. You can go over this problem. You can maintain this relationship. You can save this marriage. You can help these children. You can bring these children up. You can send them anywhere, even to the university. You can be rich. You can get a new job. You can get a new wife. Maybe your wife has deserted you. You can get a new husband. You can get a new relationship. I'm telling you, you can build that house. You can buy that car. You can do it. You can do it. All things are possible. You want to travel, you can make that journey. You can do it. This is what God sent me this morning. Don't look at anything as impossible. Don't look at anything as being too hard. Don't look at anything that it belongs to the special people. There is nothing that does not belong to you. The Bible says all things are yours. All things are yours. All things. And if all things are yours, that means that you can possess, you can pray and work hard to possess, to take your possession in the land of the living. Every one of us have an inheritance and a possession in the land of the living. You can do it. You can make it. You are not poor. You are not weak. You are not sick. You can be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. Everyone that is sick, receive your healing right now. I pray the power of the Most High God to search through you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not die. No, this sickness will not kill you. In the name of Jesus, this disease will not take your life. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. It is well with your soul. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. You are able to hear this because of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. Thank you, partners. God bless you. And you, if you like to be a partner, you want to sow a seed, just WhatsApp this number and say seed or partner. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.